Hey, hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to 5 Minute Eats and today we've got a little pantry staple. Probably the cheapest, if not, you know, at least one of the cheapest full meal pantry staples that you could have. This is the Maruchan ramen noodle soup soy sauce flavor. And if you did not know, the soy sauce flavor used to be called oriental flavor. Really? Yes, but apparently they had to change it. Why, because it's racist? Probably so, but they claim that it's to better reflect the flavor. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, but it just happened to coincide with everyone changing the names of things. I guess if it was like oriental flavor, maybe it could be like um, oyster sauce, you know? That could be. So Yeah, you know, maybe sriracha. Yeah. You know. So it's very vague. I guess, it it, is. you know, their, their um, um, reasoning for it makes sense. Sure. But this is a three ounce bag of it for only 39 cents. And this makes two portion sizes, they say, or one if you're a college student. So is this a one? This is the, the whole package. Okay, cool. Yeah. So I would say this is definitely one portion for a college guy. Yeah, right? or a hungry man. Hungry man, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and guys, if you're new to our channel, basically, we review every day grocery items. So before you spend your hard-earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. Now, making this was really simple. Yes. Water, throw this in there, and then just throw the sauce, the seasoning in there uh -huh. and stuff. And the thing is, um, now taking a look at it, it doesn't really look, you know, too exciting. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it looks like ramen. Yeah, it smells just like your typical ramen. Yes, now here's the thing. I was today years old when I realized that these ramens don't actually have a lot of broth on them because growing up, I always just like did a big pot of water boiled the noodles and then like added the seasoning packet and just put however much like broth I wanted in the bowl. But following their directions, this is what it came out like. And honestly, it's right up my alley. Like I don't like a lot of like broth and this is perfect. To me, the star of the, the meal is the broth and not <laughs> the noodles. So I'm not too excited, but Let's go for it. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right, guys, welcome back our rating system. Thumbs up right again, thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs up. Really, really surprised by this because I thought this was gonna be very boring, mm. but this is actually very flavorful. I loved the sauce, really, really good. Actually, I think this might be probably one of their better ones. Oh. Yeah, I loved how salty it was because I think that's something you really notice, how salty it is. I love the seasoning. I think the mm -hmm. sauce is the star because you know what? Making this, I thought like the, the noodles was not going to be good because when I smelled it, the mm -hmm. noodles just smelled very blah. The broth has really soaked into the noodles. It's very flavorful. This is really good. Um, Thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending us super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. Hmm. Alrighty, well for me, this one is going to be a thumbs up. It doesn't sound a, too enthusiastic. It's a little bit unenthusiastic, only because I don't actually love it this way. The way that they recommend to make it on the package. I thought that it was actually going to be phenomenal, like, because this is what I want. I want like very, very little broth and the noodles, but I actually feel like it concentrated the salt level a little bit too much for me because it was just over the line of being too salty for me because I feel like it drowned out some of the other flavor for me. It was a very flavorful ramen noodle. Which was a big surprise, right? Yes, yes, exactly. Because I thought it might be a little bit one note with just soy sauce. Personally, I feel like Oriental made it sound like it was going to have more flavor to it than just soy sauce. That might be a miss on their part. But I feel like if I could do this over again, I would actually go back to making it the way that I used to make it, which is have a full pot of water, add in the seasoning packet, and then take all the noodles out and put only a little bit of broth because then it wouldn't be quite so salty, but you would still have the flavor. I think that that would actually work out better for me. But I think that the noodles were fine. The flavor itself was good, just a hair too salty but that's definitely tweakable. Like you could totally just like, you know, make yeah. it a little bit more watery. 
So overall, I think for 39 cents to have in your pantry, this is a damn good flavor. To sum it up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.